Hey, Chris. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Hey, what's up, guys? So here with Chris again in his kitchen, and Chris has come up with the ultimate energy ball snack recipe for bringing up on the mountain. So he called me up, and you're gonna come come find out how to make these guys. Uh, super easy to do and you can get a lot of variety in it and you just take it up on the mountain, eat it whenever, and that way you can make the most out of your day. You have something with a lot of energy plus a variety of nutrition and you're good to go. Perfect. You guys have seen them in the videos. I rarely stop for lunch. Lots of times I'll bring in my backpack like a few snacks and some water or some kind of drink just so that from the time you get up the mountain all the way until the end of the day, you can just make the most of it. All right, Chris, so what's the first step in the process? Yeah, so the first step is to get our, our base, like sugar, which is from the dates. So grab some dates, you wanna pit them. So cut them open. You can check if they got pits or not on the labeling, but make sure you do get the pits out. Cut them roughly up and then soak them in some hot water just to soften them up and make them more palatable. Yeah, dates, definitely one of my favorite foods. You guys have seen in some of my breakfast recipes, uh, dates and oats and things are like some of the staples. So good for giving you lots of energy, lots of sugar, and yeah, good, uh, good base. So we left our dates in the water to soften up, and then you put them in either a food processor, preferably like a smaller one, or you can use an immersion blender. If you don't have a blender, you could try to just cut them up really, really small and then just kind of like mash them around a bit, but preferably give them a little whiz in the blender, scrape down the sides, cause it's gonna stick on the sides, and then it doesn't have to be super smooth, you just wanna have a mix of smooth bits with a few big clumps and stuff. What's the next step? Yeah, so we're gonna basically add all our wet ingredients together. So in this we have the dates, date paste, peanut butter, about half a cup of peanut butter, and a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. Chris tried to keep this recipe on budget as well, so he went with the artificial vanilla. No vanillas died in the making of this energy ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think nice. I can start to smell it. It's cooking already. Mix all the wet yeah. ingredients together. Yeah, so we got eight dates, half a cup of peanut butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla. If you can put that in the blender, wick, wick, <laughs> if you can put it all in the blender just to mix it, but if not, throw it in a bowl and that'll be sweet. And then move on and mix all our dry ingredients. You can customize the dry ingredients, but we did a little taste test ahead of time. Uh, tried a, a few different uh, energy balls and found that this combination of ing ingredients was the best. What did we go with, Chris, for the dry ingredients? Half a cup of flax seeds. And you want to have ground flax seeds as well so that it goes into your body better. If you don't have flax seeds, you can use another type of seed. A cup of oats. Use uh, quick cooking oats, don't use the steel cut oats. And a third of a cup of coconut flakes. So yeah, you can get big flakes, small flakes, doesn't matter. Chips, yeah, like a third of a cup of chocolate chips. Yeah, throw it all in, mix it around until it's like a semi-homogenous mixture of, of dry goodness. Yeah, add the wet to the dry. Mix that all up. Roll them all out as whatever size you feel happy with until you've got all your dough used up. <laughs> oh, nice. And then set them on tray, parchment paper. And then final step is to roll them in sunflower seeds. Yeah, we did a taste test ahead of time and found that the balls rolled in sunflower seeds definitely added that extra bit of texture and just made them, yeah, just taste the best. So that was a good call. Yeah, yeah these are uh, roasted sunflower seeds, so I think it, it does give it that kind of like tahini taste to it, which yeah, it's good. It's, it kind of gave it like a roasted, nutty uh, flavor. And then when you got your balls wrapped in seeds, all the goodness is there, throw them in uh, the fridge or the freezer for 10, 15 minutes, let them cool down, and then they're done. Perfect. Yeah. Can we try some? Yeah. Let's do it. Like this one's huge. Cheers. Mmm. Really sweet. Chocolatey. Soft. Chewy. Great texture. All the best things you ever wanted in a treat. Yeah, it's delicious. And wow. nutritious. <laughs> Very filling. Yeah, I feel like 
Have you brought two of these up on the mountain? That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Awesome, guys. So we'll put the full recipe below for y'all to check out. If you do make these, let us know in the comments. So, yeah, give them a try. Let us know what you think. Thanks, Chris, for sharing the recipe. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy. <laughs> Have fun eating them while you're snowboarding, and I'll uh, be eating them while I'm on my bicycle. Thanks, Chris. Oh, you're going? Yeah, I'm going to go to the mountain. Oh. Amazeballs!